quest for precious Aita took over two hours to gain access to the Electoral Commission's premises. The court bailiffs were obstructed by security personnel who denied they had been instructed to allow entry. We are told that no official is, 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 is in there. They are all gone out to uh, supervise it, from the chairperson to even people at Liga. This is a contempt application. So the contempt application, the rule is that the person who is a respondent to a contempt application has to be served personally. After trying to serve someone personally, three times or more if you are unsuccessful and subsequent service will be impracticable due to undue delay, then your only recourse is to apply to the court for substitute service of that application. The client, Precious Aita, had filed an injunction application against the ongoing limited voter registration. The Electoral Commission's decision to hold the exercise at its district offices and not electoral areas was a major concern for the applicant, along with earlier suit by five political parties, which did not stop the Commission from implementing its plan. The reason why she's evading the contempt service is that she knows with the contempt service to have no excuse when she comes before the court as to why she's continuing. Once you are served with the contempt process, the next step is that the court will jail you if you continue with the very thing that we are seeking to stop you from doing. And that is why she is evading the test. And we can assure her that we are not deterred. We will go back to the court, we will get hopefully the court order for some service, and we will come back. So whatever she does, she can run, but she cannot hide. The applicant legal representatives plan to continue until Jane Mensa and her deputies are held accountable and seek custodial prison sentences as a remedy. After we serve the issue with the contempt application, let us see what their reaction will be. If they continue with what they are doing, our clients will weigh the options she has to respect of whether maybe good Samaritans can assist or whatever it is, to maybe get her to the center. We will look at all those options. But she will not lose out on her right, but we will still hold the matter accountable for her action. So either way, we will still ensure that the law is respected. The opposition National Democratic Congress has argued that the Electoral Commission's actions could have severe consequences. The intervention happy ECOWAS countries. They better act to stop civilian coup d'etats from happening. They shouldn't close their eyes on this flagrant disregard of the principles of democracy and rule of law only to jump in when somebody overthrows that system. The limited voter registration ends on October 2. Christian Yale, TV3 News.